me rotate this. There we go. Dirty camera. Let's see, how do I open up? I haven't done it live in like years on here. So you guys gotta be patient with me. What's up, Claire? What's up, Morgan? John Baker, Carson, CHP. What's going on, guys? I literally just pulled off the side of the highway. The highway is like right there. I'm on my way from Riverside back down to San Diego. Nicole, I am very good today. Heading down to San Diego to enjoy some more beautiful weather and I have a couple really cool things that I'm gonna go film hey big kid what's up <laughs> here let's uh take this off the stand how do I keep the messages open Morgan what's your favorite part about being in the ambulance just the freedom just being able to go wherever I want to go, whenever I want to go. What's up, John Baker? Messages keep disappearing for me. I'm not sure why. But let's head over to the ambulance. Let me flip this guy around. So I didn't even clean the ambulance. This is the realistic tour. So it is... You might think I'm a slob, that's okay. Sometimes I am, but John Baker. My favorite part about fan life is again, the absolute freedom to go wherever I wanna go. Like if I feel like driving up to these houses way up there, I can just go up there. I can go find a place to park and just go live there if I want. Um, okay, Diver, am I going through Oklahoma? I do not plan on going through Oklahoma. I plan on staying out on the West Coast for a while. I actually just booked a flight today to Guatemala. So I don't leave today, but I leave, you know, in the near future. But anyways, here is the sloppy ambulance that I didn't clean for this because I didn't want it to be fake. I want it to be realistic. So the other day, if you guys have been watching the videos, I got the entire ambulance completely covered in mud and when I went to go spray it all off, these are the clothes that I wore because I was laying underneath the ambulance spraying it. And I just haven't wanted to put those with the rest of my uh, dirty clothes yet. So those are just kind of staying here in like the little, I guess, like dirty foot spot before you get into the ambulance. Brad, bro, your channel rocks and is going to blow up. I sure hope so, man. I really hope so. James, you plan on coming to West Michigan. Thank you for the offer. Um, what are my tattoos? I have a lot of tattoos. Am I coming to Utah? I would love to come back to Utah. I spend a lot of time there. If you're ever near Palm Springs, you should check out Whitewater Preserve. Never heard of it, never been there. How important is having four wheel drive for van life? Um, I think 90, percent of people or more would be totally fine with two-wheel drive i'd probably still be okay with two-wheel drive i did it for four years in the school bus but um i i don't know i love having four-wheel drive i hate putting chains on going up into the mountains even though i haven't really run into that scenario yet <laughs> but let's go inside let's so i already went over my gross muddy clothes that are sitting there we got the kitchen i got all my cleaning supplies, my glass cleaner. This is my vinegar water that I clean all my dishes with. And this is just like my regular cleaner that I clean like, I don't know, surfaces of things. Mainly the dashboard when it gets all dirty up there. The, this, is, uh, this is my little shower area. This is, I just grab all this stuff, head into Planet Fitness when I need to. Got the, the YouTube plaque that is all faded off and can barely read it anymore. That thing's just been bouncing around. I should have mounted it like that a long time ago, but I don't know why I didn't. The microwave, super glad I put this in here because I make popcorn all the time as a snack and it's super nice to have that in here. 
up top. Uh, behind the blender is my charge controller. So right there, all the solar comes into that Renogy charge controller. Oh boy. And then from the charge controller it goes down through the wall into the batteries, which are down inside of there. But this is just like, I don't know, cups and plates and just garbage bags. Keep my toothbrush and toothpaste and stuff up there. All of my spices that I almost never use, pretty much. The only one I ever use is lemon pepper right there. Best one. Simple green. Got some. This is this is important because it gets a little stinky in here sometimes, not gonna lie. You know, spray everything down. Up here we have all touch light switches. So this one controls the kitchen. The middle one controls underneath of this bench. And then the bottom one controls the lights underneath of the bed. Right there. Over here is clothes across the entire top. And then all electronics, drones, flashlights, everything all right in there. Boom. Boom. In here, a lot of people assume this is the fridge, but it's just one of the clear glass slider windows that was in one of the old cabinets from the ambulance when it was stock. But I just keep all of my dry food on this side. This is just all like, I don't know, medicine and just random things in there. Popcorn, <laughs> laundry stuff, all my towels go down there. Um, this is just like haircutting stuff, shaving stuff in a box of like a couple rags and band-aids <laughs> we got the extra little flip up table that was just an extra piece of the butcher block so just extended that onto there i love i use this all the time do you ever hit your head when you wake up yes all the time oh whoa um, I don't sleep it with I don't sleep with the bed that high. It's it's up a little bit higher than it needs to be, but I do hit my head a lot. I always forget about it whenever I wake up. Let's go into the giant messy drawer. Got my cutting board, all my silverware, which I almost never use, and then let's see. This is my list of ideas and things I want to film. And then just uh, just junk everywhere, batteries and receipts. This is my basic, basically like my upright cabinet. Everything falls out of there. I need to put. I need to put something across here to stop that stuff from falling out. But this is where I put all my jackets so they can all hang up freely. Super nice to have one of these. I did not have. Uh, didn't have one of these in my bus. Super nice to have. Over here, this is all t-shirts, tank tops, and boxers over on the left. This is pretty much always what the couch area looks like. It's just got stuff laying on it all over the place. The bike, the e-bike, which takes up way too much space inside. Way too much freaking space. Um, and the biggest pain about having this thing in here is when I want to use my table and swing the table out, I have to move the bike. So when I want to sit down and edit, I always have to move this thing and it's a pain in the ass. And then underneath the whole couch on this side is just winter clothes, wetsuits, stuff like that. Let's bring the bed down a little bit. I keep the switch hidden way up in, oh, way up in here. That way no one accidentally hits it and hurts somebody. Let's go down to right there. Um, I can't really make my bed because if I do make the bed, the blankets hang over the sides and then they'll get caught whenever the bed goes up. So this is basically making my bed. Everything just has to be brought to the middle and not hanging over the sides. So that way it can go all the way up. Back there is just like another little storage area. Um, that's a corgi onesie sitting right there, a mirror and a light. Uh, and just like, I don't know, we uh, just, I think there's a sleeping bag back in there. 
Not even sure. And here is the massive amounts of electronics. This is mostly all the stock ambulance wiring. Um, I tied in a few things up through here. Um, like my LEDs come down, go to this little microcontroller in here. I tied into a lot of the wires for things that I needed. And then at the bottom is where I keep all my extra bags. Uh, what was it called? Paper towels. And these boxes are like extra electronics from things I bought, like brand new switches, all that type of stuff. Oh. All right. Oh, the fridge. The upright fridge. We got the freezer. Always got to have a bottle of tequila with me. All the frozen foods. A fridge full of pretty much just condiments and uh, leftovers of Chipotle from today. How much storage space square foot is there? Why? What, what, how much storage space square foot wise? Under the couch is, yeah, under the couch is all storage. Um, I'm not sure how much storage I have square footage wise. It's literally all under there. That one underneath is only accessible from the outside. But we have this thing. We got this upright cabinet, that one, that one, that one. The drawer, a little bit in this one. Up here is where I keep pots and pans. So a little bit of storage there. On the right side of the fridge is where I keep, uh, it's hard to see right now with the lighting, but it's where I keep all my camping chairs. Let's go up to the front. Behind the seat, got a little mini shop vac, bag, skateboard. On this side we have boots that I've never even worn one time. Down here is a massive portable power station. On this seat is my cushion for whenever I hurt my tailbone jumping off of a really high cliff. Use this to drive for a long time so that my tailbone stops hurting. But this is the, this is where I spend most of my time always driving this thing. Uh, these switches right here do all of the light bars. These ones are light bars that are in the bumper. These are light bars that are up above the cab. I put those in. This switch right here, a lot of people ask about when they're riding in here. This basically allows you to power the head unit either while you're driving or if you turn the key off, you flip the switch down and then it'll switch the power over to the solar batteries. So that way, whenever we're camped somewhere, I can turn the key off, take the key out, still have power on that and have uh, music through the entire ambulance. But I suppose we shall go outside. We got this little drawer right here. This is where I keep my socket set. Oh, there's so many messages. Sorry guys, I'm like unable to... I'll get to a lot of messages after I walk around the entire ambulance, but it's really hard for me to read messages and explain all my setup. But little mini socket set, extra ratchet straps for tying things down. Let's see if this one is, oh, there we go. This one is just a massive assortment of screws, nuts, bolts, everything you could need, extra wire, more tie down straps, my drills, uh, the, the big drill to take off the lug nuts for the wheels. Oh, this one is already unlocked, okay. So this is literally just tools, tools, tools. Um, there's a couple jacks back in there behind, tons of straps to, like toe straps to pull people out. Oil, coolant, every single type of like brake cleaner, uh, chain lube, gear oil. There's every type of fluid you could need in there. And then also the, be the window that like goes right to the head of my bed. We got, of course, the 450 on the back. This strap right here is not even really needed. It's just kind of extra support. This thing is what locks the entire swinging gate in, keeps it closed. But yeah, that's just a little bit of extra support just because it's kind of like a safety. But the 450, that is mega dirty right now. 
Got my little gas can. Um, I had another gas can on the other side and I accidentally forgot to strap it down and it fell off when I was driving. So I only have one gas can now. Let's go into this cabinet. This is where my inverter is. So all the solar power comes in, goes to battery. Then it comes into here, goes out of all these plugs here to give regular like wall outlets like you would have in a house. Right underneath that is the diesel heater. This thing is an absolute lifesaver. This is a little diesel tank. So you fill this thing up, it's only 10 liters. It costs like nothing to fill that thing up. And then you turn that on, puts out beautiful air all through the ambulance. And then right here, this is from uh, the Diesel Brothers. Gave this right here, they hooked me up with it. It is a dual air compressor system. So I can hook up a hose right here and air up all my tires. I can run tools off of it. Oops. This is like dirt bike land. So it's got helmets, riding boots, gloves, pants, everything in there. This is climbing gear dirt bike supplies, tons of just, uh, it's kind of like random stuff. Yeah, climbing gear, climbing gear, extra straps. UPS truck. Let's go into the electrical compartment. Um, there we go. Stuff falling all the time. What is this? Vitamin C emergency. Maybe I should take that. So this is like these top two cabinets you can see from the inside. And then they're also accessible from the outside. This bottom cabinet is only accessible from the outside. And this is the entire battery system. So I have four of these batteries all wired together parallel. I know it looks like a freaking mess. Over here are my... DC fuse panels over here. So everything comes in, goes out to all the 12 volt stuff. Got a DC to DC charger. So that way, whenever I'm driving, it's also all the power comes through here. And then that, you know, does some little magic. And then it puts out 12 volts safely to all the batteries while I'm driving. This is a giant fuse for my sound system because I have a big subwoofer inside and you have to have a huge amp that's what that's for and this one honestly i'm i can't even remember what that one's for right now i think that one just huh honestly i cannot remember what this one's for right now to save my life there's too much going on in here oh here we go bottle of whiskey that i've never opened bottle of vodka i've never opened and kidney beans <laughs> go oops this one's this is the freshwater tank i'm getting pretty low though this is the gray water tank propane tank hot water heater yes this should be venting through the door and out but i just never turn it on unless this door is open and even whenever even if you do have this door shut it's not that big of a deal because i don't let it run for too long but you can see the sink comes right down through the p-trap right down into there there's the water pump that runs everything it pulls it all out of right here it goes all the way to the bottom of that tank and extra hoses and whatnot this one is strictly storage so i keep my snowboard full-size shovel camping tent i have the inflatable paddle board this giant bag is crystals. <laughs> the last time she flew out, she didn't have enough room to take a bunch of stuff with her. So I've been holding onto this bag for crystal for a while. Snowboard boots, uh, my wetsuit, another camping tent. Honestly, if anybody in here is in the market for a, I think this is like a single person camping tent. It's like size perspective. It's like you could fit one, maybe two people in here. But if anybody wants this, um, I'll send it out to you. So I'm going to, I need to find a way to pick somebody, but I'll, I'll, if somebody really needs this, I can send it to you for free. I'll try to post like a picture of it or something, but yeah, if anybody drop a comment or something, if you guys are in need of a camping tent for one person or 
if you really like each other, you could squeeze two people in that thing. But I have no use for it. I have another tent that I don't use anyways, so I definitely need to just give that away to somebody. And then, let's go around the front, except the sun is killing me. We got the gigantic bumper and winch. The winch is from the Diesel Brothers. The entire custom bumper is all from AJ's 4x4 Vans, the company that also did the four-wheel drive conversion. They built this fully custom bumper from scratch. It was crazy to watch them do that. Here's also some of their work under here. These are their Ford brackets they put on here. They use pretty much all Ford parts. Go underneath and show. There we go. Whoa, Leroy, thank you so much. Seriously, I really appreciate that. That's awesome. YouTube has not been uh, paying the bills recently. I've been basically paying out of my pocket. So that helps out a lot. Really, really appreciate that. All right, now I can start reading comments more because I've gone over the entire ambulance pretty much. Melbourne, Australia, no way. Let me, it's a shame how much trash there is around here. I just pulled off a random exit and drove up a road. But if there's anything specific that you guys wanna see, Oops, let me, sorry guys. Damien, I am running their American racing rims in the front and in the back, they are the, sorry, they're the stock GM or the stock Chevy rear wheels that came with it. But I am, uh, I'm running the BF Goodrich KM3s. Dark Mage Productions. Thank you so much for that. I really, really appreciate that. Seriously, it's it's amazing you guys send in the... What are they called on, on YouTube? Are they called Super Likes or Super Chats? I don't even know. I, I haven't done this enough to know. But anyways, thank you guys so much for that. I really, really appreciate that. Tyrese, what states are you going to next? I'm probably gonna bounce around California, maybe back over to Arizona. And then, of course, there's gotta be F-bomb right on the ground right there. Let me move you over here. I'm probably gonna go to Utah, Arizona, and California for the next little while. And then also uh, Guatemala. I'm not taking the ambulance to Guatemala. I wish I could, but it's a little bit far of a drive. Karen, yes, I went over to Evan's house. Let me turn it around so that way I can actually see you guys. There we go. This bug is driving me crazy. And you're dead. I think I got it. Dean, thank you so much for that. You guys are amazing. Samantha, when are you coming up to Vancouver? Uh, it's too cold up there right now. Maybe in the summertime, I might come up that way. I'm not sure. Evelyn, Melbourne, Australia. Biggest fan, thank you so much. I really, really want to come out there at some point. I need to make just like a, a whole lap around the world and visit a bunch of countries that I haven't been to. Where did you find the ambulance from whenever you bought it? I actually stopped at a company that I saw on the street that fixes ambulances, went inside their shop, asked if they had any for sale. They did not have any for sale, but they were like, hey, we know a guy that sells them and he might have some used ones. Here's his phone number, called that guy, ended up driving like an hour and a half to his shop and picked up his. He The guy basically only sold brand new ones for like 300, $400,000, but he had a couple, um, he had a couple old ones like this, this one and one other one he had used, so picked up one of his used ones. Tyrese, if you come to Utah, you have a spot to stay for free. Thank you very much, I appreciate that. John Baker, 835, is that for the uh, tent? Oh, 850, Ionic project projection. 850 is the winning bid. I don't wanna make anyone pay for it. I'll just send it to somebody. But I'll probably do that on a, uh, 
maybe if I can remember, I'll, I'll try to do it for tomorrow's video and just like pick a comment, go through them and just pick one random comment and send it to that person. But I, it has to be in the United States though. Sorry for anybody who's not in the United States. I just don't know how, I don't, I don't know how much shipping would be to send it to like Australia or something. <laughs> Scott G, love the Ukraine shirt. <laughs> Me too, man. I got a, I bought like four of them whenever I was in Ukraine. I love them. Uh, Nicole, are you planning more moto vlogs? Funny that you should ask that because um, tomorrow I'm going to film a video that's like, it may turn into a moto vlog, but you know, I, I don't want to spoil it for you guys, but it, a lot of the video may end up being a moto vlog, but it's going to be very interesting. Samantha, do you miss your bus? I do. I definitely miss my bus, but I also love the ambulance a little bit more. So, you know, and I, and there's people still out enjoying my school bus. Like a, a couple has it, they travel full time in it and they're all, film, they're making a bunch of content. So at least it's still making, like it's still getting used. Nikki, love the channel. Thank you so much. Ionic projection, 999, we're getting crazy. Tyrese, what, what, what are you feeling on weed? I don't smoke weed. I've smoked weed a bunch of times in my life and I've hated it every single time. It just, it messes me up so freaking bad. I just get crazy panic attacks, crazy anxiety. So I stay away from it. I pretty much just strictly drink. Um, yeah, just drink tequila for the most part. Tequila, seltzers, beers. John Baker, come to Boston. I've heard very great things about Boston. I would actually love to come out there, but no plans on bringing the ambulance out east anytime soon. Uh, what's the most overrated and underrated place you visited? Oh boy. I'm, I'm gonna have to think on that one. There's definitely been some overrated places that I've gone and I was like, wow, this place sucks. But I'll have to think about that. Did Hans ever answer your emails about the snow rescues? Um, no, so they're actually all back in Salt Lake City now. I wasn't able to head up there. I was busy, but um, I was texting Dave and Dave and a couple of the editors and it was just, it was a complete shit show up there. So they were, uh, it was just like too much going on. There were so many people involved. So yeah, they all took care of that. Um, any more cliff diving? You have a place here. You have a place here in the North Pole. In the North Pole, if you ever get here, where's the North Pole? Which, which, what's your, what city? What city are you referring to as the North Pole? I know where like the North, North Pole is. Um, but yes, I do have some cliff jumping. That's why we're going to Guatemala. Going to Guatemala for a big cliff jumping trip. And we're having a big competition down there. It's going to be ridiculous. Uh, did you enjoy the haunted videos? Yes, I, I did enjoy those. I had a great time filming those. I always pretty much like, laughed my ass off the entire time. Love your videos and you traveling in the Ambo. Ambo. Thank you, Karen. Tyrese, what's your next step in life? Um, I don't, I wish I knew that, you know? Um, my, I do plan on very soon investing in some more rental properties. I really wanna do, I wanna do like a bunch of research and try to buy as many rental properties as I possibly can. To, so that way I have reliable income coming in and I don't have to like, I don't have to rely on this and social media to make money. I want all social media income, whatever that may be. I want that to be like fun money and money that I can just like give away to like a server whenever I'm out at a restaurant because I used to be a server for a long time and I always see the videos where people just go tip like thousand dollars. I'd love to do that more than anything. Um, let's see here. Oh, Kimberly, Alaska. Actually, a friend, if any of you guys know Ryan Toomey, he lives in a really sick Pro Master. He is um, in the middle of a road trip from the Florida Keys to Alaska, and he told me I should caravan with him with the ambulance, but the snow is so bad out that way, so I think he's putting that on hold until May, I believe. Um, but I'm thinking about it. I was thinking about driving all the way to Alaska with him. I think that'd be pretty crazy. Make for some really good videos. Clyde, more e-bike vlogs, more coming one i'm gonna go film tomorrow uh do you still see Corey? i haven't seen Corey in a while but we're still cool i've talked to him a few times recently because i've been like i've been bouncing through la but i've just been like going through really quickly and like we have we've just been like missing each other but i'm gonna meet up with Corey and corbin as well i haven't seen them in a long time but yeah i just i just saw evan it's great and if you guys have no idea who i'm talking about it's from another channel that i used to film with a much bigger channel um 
grow Bud Lights and Patron on deck. That's right. <laughs> I always keep uh, I always keep a bunch of beers, seltzers, and always tequila. Always gotta have that because you never know. Someone might message me and say, "Hey, man, we're gonna have a go. We're gonna have a party in the desert tonight. Let's go right now." You know, then I'm I'm loaded. I'm ready to go. Kimberly, yes, wait till spring. I agree. If you weren't traveling in your ambulance, what would you be doing right now? I would be spending every minute of my life researching houses to buy, researching real estate, and just trying to build a rental portfolio so that I can have passive income and not have to work a full-time job. Definitely, that's what I'd be doing. Um, have you thought about hitting up Cerro Gordo? I've been to Cerro Gordo. Um, I took my school bus there. I went there, I actually, with the other channel I filmed with, we filmed a few videos there. I think we filmed like three or four videos up in Cerro Gordo. It's pretty cool. How did you meet the Diesel Brothers? Damien, great question. It's an awesome, I never in a million years would have expected it. Um, I drove the ambulance straight to their shop because they have a storefront where you can you know, buy their merch. And my dad has been a fan of their channel for a long time. So I was like, you know what? I'll stop by their shop. I'll send my dad home some of their merch for his birthday. And when I pulled in, I pulled in next to their giant monster truck school bus. And I walked inside to get some stuff, came back out and Diesel Dave was giving a tour of the Freedom Bus. So all the people in the tour were asking what the deal was with the ambulance. And he was like, I've never seen it before. I have no idea what that's about, but it's awesome. So then I was like, yo dude, that's mine. And then he came over right away and he was like, hey man, I wanna talk to you. Let me meet up with you after the tour. So then after the tour was over, he came over, met up with me, brought all the filmers and editors out. And a couple of the, or one of the, one of the filmers, he actually had already followed me on Instagram. So it made the introduction super easy and natural. And then literally just became friends with them straight off the bat from there and then started going on some of their recovery missions. Um, what made you get into the van life? I went on a cliff diving trip like seven years ago, I wanna say, in Northern California. And it was my first real trip to the West Coast from Pennsylvania. And I just met like, it was a trip with like 70 to 100 people all for cliff jumping around like 10 days through Northern California. And all of them were living out of either cars, vans, buses, trucks with campers, RVs. And it was like one of the best weeks of my life. But then I had to fly home back to Pennsylvania to my full-time job. And it's like Wednesday and all my friends that I just met are like going to a new waterfall, blah, blah, blah. And they're living like paycheck to paycheck. They had almost no money, but they were living the best lives I've ever seen. And I was like, what am I doing spending all my time working, paying for this house that I'm never at? I'd rather have way less money and be able to travel. So all the people that I met in Northern California on that one trip seven years ago inspired me, came back and immediately bought a school bus and started converting it. I've been a contractor for seven years. I'd love to partner up in some regard on those rental properties. Just throwing it out there. Ionic Projection, where are you located? Because I'm looking to buy stuff in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, just because I know the area. Although it's very close to East Palestine where that big train derailment was. So that kind of freaks me out. Um, Adam, are you the, is this your, did you used to work in the ambulance? I think this, oh, I think I remember you messaging me. I couldn't, I can't remember exactly. It was a while ago, but if you used to work in here, man, it's not haunted. So that's good. A lot of people ask me if it's haunted. Sunday Chamberlain, Chamberlain? Leroy, thank you so much, man. Seriously, you don't understand how much I appreciate that. Like times are tough out here, but I also feel like an ass saying that because I just go around and film YouTube videos and have fun. But Thank you so much. Karen, you came over from watching Corey, Corey, and Evan. Thank you. There was such a good time hanging out with them. Alan, <laughs> John Baker. So if anyone does follow the Diesel Brothers, he asked if it's Alan or Diesel Dave on a road trip. Diesel Dave, <sighs> Diesel Dave is the nicest guy ever. I'd probably pick Diesel Dave because Alan scares me sometimes. He listening to Alan I could listen to Alan talk for days so both of them are not bad options because Alan is one of the most interesting human beings I've ever met but he's so much of the stuff he says is like way above my intelligence level and I'm just like man I don't I don't even know what you're saying like he's a genius but I'd probably say Diesel Dave I can relate to him a little bit more 
Kimberly, thank you for being parent up front talking to us. Of course. I like to let everyone know like the realities of everything and like the real the realness. Oh, Nikki, thank you so much. I haven't promoted any merch in a long time. I've been kind of like pushing that on the back burner and I kind of want to revamp it and bring it back. But Adam, you need to hook up with Brad from Trail Recon. I've never even heard of that. I'll have to look him up. So LF, uh, the lights on the ambulance, are you talking about the, I can only show you the, um, the off-road light bars, the like flashy woo-woo lights, they, those don't work anymore. Sorry if this, um, sorry if this wind is a little bit loud. Here, let me flip this around. So, one of the switches for the light bars does these four bottom ones. Another one does this light bar, and then another one does all three of those. Oh, John Baker, you know, I do need a spatula. So, here, I'm gonna leave this here, and I will go turn on all of the, uh, all the lights. Hang tight. So that's all of them lit up. But these ones I do have wired to, oh, I'm sorry, these ones are wired to my regular starting battery, so I'm not gonna leave them on. <laughs> Let me spin this around again. Karen, did you get your microwave back yet? I'm not sure what you mean by that. My microwave's always been here. Um, Tyrese, what's your dream car or truck? I'd have to say I have, this is pretty much my, my dream truck, even though it's technically a van. Um, but dream car, I want to get a Lamborghini Huracan at some point. That's many years away, but at some point, I'll have one. You know, I already had an i8 was my dream car for a while. I bought one of those and ended up reselling it for $10,000 more. So I got basically paid $10,000 to drive an i8. I bought it in Michigan, drove it to Pennsylvania, drove it around home for a while, drove it all the way to the West Coast, and then uh, sold it in L.A. Any plans to come to the UK and Wales? Um, tons of abandoned mines. Yeah, I would love to come out there, but I don't have any plans. Um, maybe I should make like a... Actually, I've been thinking about talking to um, Exploring with Josh. I'm friends with him as well from filming together. I was thinking about seeing if he wanted to do a trip back out to uh, Europe and the UK and I don't know, go check all those places out. But it'd be cool to go out with Josh. Does the Ambo's crazy horn still work, Keith? Absolutely it does. Very illegal to use it, but I definitely use it. Um, all the sirens work as well, but don't tell anybody I told you that. Is there any other way to donate? I can't get it to work on here. Do you have Venmo? Uh, Kimberly, yes, I do have Venmo. If, if anyone wants to send any Venmos, I feel awful taking people's money, but if you guys if you, if you guys want my venmo is brandon dash gross 69. <laughs> i hope the uh wind is not too loud for you guys um, uh karen no i did not leave the microwave at my house maybe i did say that because i'm stupid but no i just left a lot of uh a lot of things i left at my friend's house like my piano i left a lot of things over there but no, I haven't went and picked all that stuff up yet. I have some packages getting delivered there, so I got to go ahead to his house soon. Um, when are you going home to PA at the fire department? Want to see the amb Ambo? I was there. Um, I, th I think I tried reaching out to you while I was home because I wanted to stop by with the ambulance, but I was also really busy while I was at home. Clyde, thank you so much. Wow, that's awesome. Thank uh, Kimberly, 
adding me too. Thank you guys so much, seriously. You guys are the freaking best. If there's anything else specific you guys wanna see on the ambulance, let me know, or any other questions. What do your friends think about the Ambo? Um, I think a lot of my close friends from home think I'm stupid. <laughs> but at the same time, I think they're like, how does he survive? Like, how does he pay for things? He hasn't worked a, like a full-time job and I haven't worked a full-time job in five years, but they don't really, I don't know. They're a lot of my friends from back home. Don't really travel much. They kind of just stay at home and uh, I don't know. They, they don't, they don't travel much. So it's kind of like our lives have gone apart so differently, like such different ways that it's, I don't know. It's kind of hard. Adam. Yeah. DM me, uh, DM me your number because I think I tried like finding you on Instagram or something at the time when I was home. I really wanted to bring the ambulance back. I'm on a dead end road and there has been a lot of traffic going by. Derpfish. I love that name. <laughs> uh, Joel, I am in California. I'm right outside of San Diego and Escondido. So I'm heading into San Diego for sunset. It's actually getting uh, about that time. I might have to head out of here in a second. Bree, is it legal to have more riders than seatbelts? Definitely not, but I'm not gonna say I haven't done that. <laughs> I'm not gonna say I have done it, but I'm not gonna say I haven't done it. Tyrese, what's your relationship like with, like with your family? Uh, we're, I think we're all pretty, pretty cool. I mean, I don't really, I'm really cool with my brother and sister like whenever I'm home, but like we never really talk while I'm out on the road. I'm super close with my mom. I talk to my dad every once in a while. We're all pretty good, we're pretty good. Beaver County is now as close to Chernobyl. Honestly, yeah, Beaver County, that's where I'm from in Pennsylvania. And it is basically next to the United States version of Chernobyl, which is now East Palestine, Ohio. Hey, Marley, Adventures with Marley. Dude, glad to see you here. I don't know what time it is there. It's probably pretty early over in, uh, it's, yeah, it's probably pretty early there. Guys, Adventures with Marley, the one that just messaged Hello Friendo, he has helped me tremendously with my channel. So much you guys don't even know. He helps me with a, most of my thumbnails. It, it just so much advice on what to do and inspiration. Marley, good guy. Probably hard to see, but can you show and explain the four wheel drive conversion? Uh, Scott G. How do I get over the claustrophobia? Sometimes I don't, but a lot of times if I literally just sit there and breathe through it and like kind of chill out, I'm able to work my way through it. Let's see. Um, Weaslerby, I don't know that name, but any plans on getting a, a travel animal? Um, I would love to so much, but things like right now where I'm like, I'm just gonna book a flight and dip out to Guatemala and who knows when I'll come back. Stuff like that would be really hard with an animal, so that's the only reason I have it. But let me show you guys the... Oh, actually, right before, I'm, I'm gonna show you guys on top of the ambulance real quick, and then after that, I'll show the four-wheel drive, and then I'm probably gonna head out because it's uh, starting to get towards sunset time. But let's climb. Oh my gosh, it is, <laughs> this is the first time I've been up here since uh, I went four-wheeling and it is a muddy mess. This is probably why I haven't been getting a ton of solar. I guess I could clean all these. <laughs> this is the max air fan. That's just basically a ceiling fan. This is my rooftop AC. This is my grip tape. So when I park on top of a bridge, I can run and not slip and jump off the bridge. Somebody said, Scott G, what are the Action Adventure Twins like? If you guys don't know the Action Adventure Twins, they strictly film caving and mine exploration, and they are the most chill guys ever. Whenever Crystal and I, we went and met up with them, and it felt like we had known them forever, like immediately. We like immediately became such close friends. Awesome, awesome guys. Can't say enough good things about them. Uh, uh, let's here, let's check out. So, 
The four wheel drive conversion, basically this was all independent front suspension. These, this entire piece right here is a factory Ford bucket off of a Ford van. So they basically cut those off, weld them onto here with the springs. They welded this uh, track bar bracket on here as well. They custom made the uh, sway bar on here, the bump stops. Um, the drive line here, that's the front drive line. These right here are, uh, these are the custom brackets that they built for the radius arms. So radius arms come back, bolts right up to the frame. Um, there's this big custom bracket that holds in the transmission because now it has the transfer case attached to it. And then, see if you could see it up in here um right there the steering stabilizer that goes up onto the drag link Ugh. Right. evelyn thank you so much i really appreciate that don't you ever want daylight in the back of the ambulance yes i do um, sometimes I just open up this door and the back doors and I'll hang out there, but, but I've been on here for over 45 minutes now. That, that went by really freaking quick. I feel like I've been here for 10 minutes. Surprised I've been talking this long. Surprised you guys have been listening to me talk this long. Um, but yeah, for anybody interested in the camping tent, I will add that into a future video and then... I'll just pick a random comment from one of the videos, but you'll know if you watch the videos, I'll mention it in there. I'll be like, hey, check out the tent. If you want it, drop a comment and I'll pick somebody. Um, ever considered doing a wrap job on the uh, entire ambulance? Yeah, but that's like, it's like three or $4,000. And then also when I go off road and I'm hitting trees and stuff, I'm worried about it like ripping it. And I don't want to like ruin a $4,000 wrap job on this thing. I kind of like that it looks like an ambulance too. But <clears throat> Damien, that is uh, that's very impressive. 78 people to listen to me for 30 minutes. <laughs> that's pretty impressive. Um, but thank you guys all for being here. Seriously, really appreciate you guys. I am going to grab my tripod that I left over here, hop in the driver's seat and head down to San Diego. And try to go somewhere really cool for sunset that I have picked out, but I've never been there, but we'll see. But thank you guys. Again, you guys are the best. I love you all and I will see you for tomorrow's video. And yeah, thank you guys. Peace.